Hey there folks, welcome to Holy Smoke Barbecue. Jeff Dalton here. Today we're going to be smoking up a wonderful American barbecue classic. We're going to be cooking up some pulled pork today. We're going to pair it up with a tangy Carolina style barbecue sauce. It's going to be smoky, it's going to be juicy, it's going to have a nice little crunchy bark on it. It's going to be delicious. Let's fire up the pit. All right, what we got here today is an eight pound Boston butt. Um, this is a good size that you'll find. It's great for making pulled pork. What we're gonna do is we need to get this thing trimmed up before we can get it seasoned and put on the smoker. Now there's not a lot of trimming to do on here, but one thing that I like to do is I like to go across it with my hand and just make sure that I don't see any bone shards or um, pieces of cartilage or fat or anything like that that I need to get off before we start seasoning it Here's a little bone shard right here, and I like to have a good boning knife a curved boning knife You want it to be good and sharp. This is my Wustoff. It's a six inch curved boning knife. It works great What I like to do is just come in here get that little piece of bone shard off and discard that um, any little scraggly things hanging off like that right there, we'll go ahead and trim those off because those are just going to burn anyway. If I see anything that's not too appetizing to hanging off, I like to trim it off. We get this piece of fat right here off. It's usually a big chunk of fat right here beside the money muscle that I like to get that right there off as well. Now, we're not cooking this up for a competition or anything. We're just going to cook it up so we can have a good dinner tonight. Um, so we're not going to get too crazy. You can get in here and separate the muscles and get stuff out if you want to. But I don't really think that's necessary for a good piece of eating pulled pork. Um, so one thing that I do want to do is I want to score this fat cap right here. I'm going to be cooking this today fat side up. And I like to score it because when you do... It kind of creates these little crunchy barks and make great little pitmaster snacks. So what we're going to do is going to take your knife, going to come in here, go down about a quarter to a half inch deep, and we're just going to score this fat cap. We're going to go about an inch apart. And we're going to rotate it, go 90 degrees, and cut them the other way. And what this does is it does a couple different things. It allows the fat cap to kind of render down a little bit better. And it also allows us to kind of get some seasoning down in there. So that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right. We're going to be using a slather today. We're going to be using some of this Big Rick's Jalapeno Honey Mustard. This stuff is really good for a slather. It's good for a dipping sauce for chicken nuggets or whatever you want. So we're going to take this right here. Let's flip this thing over and do the back side first. We're just going to put a little bit, not too much, just a little bit right there on it. And we're just going to rub it all over. Put a nice little slather. What this will do is it give our seasoning something to stick to. Flip it over and we get the other side. Alright, that's looking pretty good right there. Kind of get down inside them cracks that we created with them score marks. Alright, let's flip this thing over and we'll get some seasoning on it. The first seasoning I'm going to use today is Mississippi Grit by Swan Life Barbecue. This is one of my favorite seasonings. I love this for seasoning up meats. We put it on grilled vegetables. We put it on all kinds of stuff. It's a great all-purpose kind of a salt, pepper, and garlic type seasoning. Just open the lid up 
and we're just going to get a nice little base layer of this seasoning all over this pork butt. And what this is going to do is just going to add a nice savory note. It's going to put some salt, some pepper, some garlic. We're going to try to build up some layers of flavor today on this pork butt. I'm not going too heavy with this because it is fairly salty. We just want to put a good little base coat layer on there. Make sure you get your sides. Alright, that's looking pretty good to me. Alright, the next rub we're going to use is Killer Hogs The Barbecue Rub. This is my go-to seasoning when I want just a simple barbecue rub. It's got great sweet and salty flavors. I really like this rub a lot. I use this a lot when I'm cooking for my friends and family. It's good on ribs, chicken, pulled pork, pretty much anything you want. Just a general good all-purpose barbecue seasoning. We're gonna make sure we get the sides. The barbecue rub has a really nice color to it, and it's gonna give us a good, beautiful dark bark on this pulled pork. Get down in them cracks. All right. That's looking pretty good to me. We're going to let this kind of sit here and sweat in a little bit. And we'll be ready to throw it on a pit here in just a few minutes. Today we're going to be cooking on my Kamada Joe Big Joe. I've got this set up for indirect cooking. If I'm just doing something like a simple pork butt, just one pork butt and one rack of ribs, I like to set it up indirect and not use the deflector plates. I just take my charcoal basket, put the divider in it, bank all the coals towards the back, put the grate at the front, put it up on the highest setting. It's a nice indirect uh, cooking way to get this pork butt done. So we're going to take our seasoned up pork butt. We're just going to place it right here on the grill. Let's get a temperature probe and put in it. I'm using my Thermalworks signals today. I'm going to take this temperature probe and we're going to drop it right down in here in this pork butt. We're just going to let the pit run. We're going to run about 250 to 275 degrees today. We're using some BMB lump hickory charcoal for our fire today and i've got just a couple of pecan and a couple cherry chunks in there for some good smoke we'll check back in a couple hours and see how it's doing go ahead and shut this lid up let her do her thing we'll check back in a couple hours all right everybody it's been a little over three hours since we put this pork butt on the grill let's check in on it and see how it's doing you can see right here that the uh Pit temp about 280, uh, right on the grate level. You look at the dome thermometer, it's running about the same thing, 275 or so. Let's open the lid and check it out. All right, she's looking really good after just a couple of hours. Um, actually, it's been about, like I said, a little over three hours. You can see it's really nice bark building up bark is adhered to the pork butt really good it's not coming off you see we got plenty of coals left back there I do think I am going to spritz it all right so let's get a little spritz on here and I do think I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this so that it can cook a little more evenly and put this other the back side up against the fire we'll just take that and 
spin it on around it's looking really good just get this lid closed we'll check back in a little bit all right so we got that pork butt on the pit it's smoking away it's looking real good i'm excited to eat that y'all but while we're waiting for that to get done let's go ahead and make up our carolina style barbecue sauce all right let's go over our ingredients here so we've got two tablespoons of butter we've got a half a cup of diced onion we've got two cloves of minced garlic right there on top we got a cup of ketchup we got two cups of apple cider vinegar we got a half a cup of brown sugar we got two teaspoons of hot sauce Today I'm using Killer Hogs hot sauce. That's a very good spicy vinegary hot sauce. We've got our seasonings here, which is one teaspoon of crushed red pepper, one teaspoon of salt, kosher salt, and one teaspoon of black pepper. And lastly, there's one little trick that I learned from my good buddy, uh, Hungry Hussy. He's got a YouTube channel where he does a lot of blackstone cooking and he does some barbecue videos and stuff, and he likes to put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in his Carolina-style barbecue sauce. And uh, so I decided I would try that today and see how I like it. All right, we've got our pan preheating here. I'm um, got it on medium-low heat. First thing we want to do is we're going to add our butter, and we want to get that butter melted. All right, now we got that butter is almost completely melted let's go ahead and add in our onions and our garlic we want to put these in and we want to sweat them down a little bit we don't necessarily want to brown them we just want to get them soft and translucent i'm going to let these sit here and cook for a few minutes and then i'll bring you back when it's time to add the other ingredients in all right it's been about five minutes since we added the onions and the garlic to this butter and you can see that they're not brown at all they're just good and soft and translucent so let's go ahead and start adding some of these other ingredients next thing I want to add is the brown sugar take that stir it in and then I want to add in the ketchup kind of what this does I want this ketchup to kind of caramelize just a little bit it'll really help add a lot of depth of flavor to my barbecue sauce. I'm just gonna take the ketchup and the brown sugar, kind of mix it all together. Kind of let that get heated up some. You can tell that brown sugar has really helped to make the ketchup kind of uh, get darker, make it a little more rich. So next thing I want to add is our hot sauce. Now, you can make your barbecue sauce as spicy or as sweet as you want, depending on how much brown sugar or hot sauce you put in it. I like it kind of medium. Uh, I want it a little bit spicy, but I don't want it to blow your head off. But I also want it to have a little bit of sweetness as well. I think the sweetness pairs very good with the richness of the pulled pork and the smokiness of it. Go ahead and add our Worcestershire sauce, our spices, and then lastly we're going to add in our two cups of apple cider vinegar. The Carolina barbecue sauce is supposed to be a little bit on the thinner side. It's very vinegary, it's got some heat, it's real tangy. So let's just give this a few minutes to kind of come up to a boil and then I'll check back in with you. All right, you can see that we've come up to a nice simmer here. We got our sauce uh, brought up to a boil and now I kind of reduced it down a little bit to a simmer. We just want to let these flavors all meld together and kind of let it thicken up a little bit. Let's give it a taste and see how it is. See if I can taste this without burning my tongue. pretty good. I think I want to add just a little bit more brown sugar to it. 
it's just a little bit more uh, vinegary than I want a little bit more uh, sweetness I think would help round it out a little bit let's add about a quarter of a cup more brown sugar let's get that all stirred in all right let's give it another taste see how it is Yep, that's perfect. And just add a little bit more sweetness to it to kind of round it out a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this kind of sit here and uh, simmer for a few minutes. And then I'm going to take it off the heat and let it cool down. And then we're going to bottle it up. Be ready to put some of this on that pulled pork. Alright, let's open the grill. See how we're doing. The Thermalworks signals just hit 203 degrees. Ooh wee, look at that bark. Look how pretty that right there is. Man, that is crunchy right there. Let's check it with the probe and just see how tender it is. Oh yeah. That thing goes in like butter. All right, guys. We've had a long day. This pork butt has been on a smoker for about nine hours. Took it off after it reached temperature and it got nice and probe tender. <clears throat> We've had it sitting here on the board so it could get uh, so it could rest. Uh, we wanted to give it time to kind of cool down and let those juices redistribute uh, throughout the meat. You never want to take a piece of meat right off the grill or right off the pit and cut into it or pull it or slice it or anything like that right after you take it off the grill because that's just going to let all those juices run out all over the board and we want that to stay in the meat so it'll be nice and tender and juicy before we shred this pork butt apart and see how we did i want to share with you my bible verse of the week and the verse that we're going to do today comes from ezekiel the book of ezekiel in the old testament that um this verse is one of the very first verses I ever learned after I become a Christian. And I heard it one day on K-Love, and it just spoke to me. And what Ezekiel 36.26 says is this. It says, And I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. And... Man, that verse describes perfectly the change that I felt in my spirit after I gave my life to the Lord. Prior to giving my life to the Lord, I was, uh, I had a calloused heart. I didn't, I had no compassion for people. And after uh, I realized what Jesus had done for me and uh, what he had sacrificed and everything that he done as he died on the cross for my sins That changed my heart that changed my spirit and that changed how I looked at things. I became more passionate. I became more uh, Responsive to people. I wanted to help people and I can just feel a change in my heart uh, Since I gave my life to the Lord. I encourage you to do that uh, as well one day if you haven't so let's go ahead and tear into this pork butt right now. So the first thing we want to do is we tear into this pork butt is we want to pull this blade bone out. This blade bone is like an instant read thermometer. And if you cooked it right, that thing will just pull right out of there, just like that. That's how you know that your pork is cooked really good. I love these little nuggets right here. They're on top where we scored it. Let's give one of those a try. Mm. Man, that is so good. So let's start pulling this pork butt apart. You hear that crunch? That's from that bark. We didn't wrap this pork butt today because I wanted this to be like a Carolina style. And in Carolina, you know, we cook our pork butts over an open pit. I mean, uh, not necessarily pork butts, but the whole hog. As I'm pulling through here, if I see anything little pieces of fat that didn't render out exactly or whatever I'm going to pull those out oh this thing is still hot even after letting it rest look how easily that just shreds apart 
Just take those muscles and just pull them right apart. Look at that. That's some nice, tender meat right there. It looks delicious. I'm going to go ahead and finish pulling this. And when I get it all pulled apart, and uh, we'll bring it back. All right, we got our pork pulled. We got it plated up here on the board. We drizzled a little bit of our barbecue sauce on it. Let's give it a little try. I want to get one of these barky pieces right here. Mmm. So good. The pork is rich and smoky. Super tender, super juicy. And that Carolina barbecue sauce is super tangy. I love the way the vinegar um, fits so well with the richness of that pork. That acid from the vinegar really helps to uh, cut the richness some. Mm. Very tasty. I hope you enjoyed your time with me today. And if you liked this video, how about giving me a thumbs up and sharing the video. And if you'd like to support the channel, I would ask you to go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions about the recipe, the verse of the day, or if you'd just like to know a little bit more about what it takes to become a Christian, feel free to contact me. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, and I'll put my email address in the description down below. Until next time, go spend some quality time with friends and family over some good food. And remember, glorify God in everything you do. See ya.